Oh, excuse me. I'm thirsty. That's right. <clears throat> Sorry. What a boring intro that was. And Diet Pepsi of all things. No coffee because it's almost 9 o'clock at night. <clears throat> well. Okay. Alright. I know. I said on Wednesday that I was going to have a video on Friday. And that was the plan. But here's what happened. So what had happened was... <laughs> Thursday, snowstorm, two to three inches with a bunch of ice. Friday wasn't cleared up. <clears throat> However, amazingly enough, I remembered that Reacher on Amazon Prime came out yesterday, which would be Friday. And I'm sorry, I had to watch it. And I was sure... That Amazon was going to mess it up. And since I've read all the books. Well let's just say. I had an eagle eye for it. And I was ready to watch. So I sat down on Friday. And checked it out. And all eight episodes dropped at once. And as much as I love. Getting the whole thing all at once. It's a bad business model. You look at Peacemaker, which is dropping once a week on Thursdays. And as much as I don't necessarily like that show because they've just put so much garbage in it, every Thursday, I watch the episode. I don't know. I'm hoping... By the end of it, it'll turn itself around and be something worth watching. Doubt it. Unlike Peacemaker, Reacher dropped all at once. And after I started watching it, after the first episode, I couldn't stop watching it. And I sat down in one setting and watched all eight 45-minute episodes. That's right. All eight. And overall, it's great. Unlike when Tom Cruise tried to do Reacher movies, which he did too, Reacher is six foot five in the books and looks like, for lack of a better person to discuss, The Rock. Tom Cruise is four foot nothing and he's not built like the character is in the stories. So as decent as those movies were because you got to see Reacher on the big screen, they weren't Reacher. The man they have playing Reacher in the Amazon Prime series is huge and he plays it well. Now, I did not say it was perfect, because it was not. As usual, and I don't know why they have to do this, if they truly believe this as a whole, talking about Hollywood, they don't understand what the world is really like. And this show takes place... In Georgia. And everybody's a racist. Now. Okay. Not everyone. But pretty much. Huge majority. Everybody hates black people. And it's stupid. It detracts from the show. It detracts from the stories. And the book. That it's based on. Killing Floor. By Lee Child is not like that. I'm not saying there's not racist people. There are. But everybody in the South is not racist. Just because you live in the South of the United States of America does not mean 
you dislike anybody other than white people. Sorry, Amazon. That's stupid. Uh, besides that, some of the acting's a little. Uh, it took him a couple episodes to get to get comfortable with the characters that were being played. Is it perfect? Like, is it perfectly like the book? No. It's pretty close, and it was very enjoyable to watch. If you're a fan of Reacher, especially, for once they put Reacher on a screen, and the fight scene scenes are fantastic. They're wow, they're great, fantastic. The music is great. I can't not I cannot tell you enough you should watch this show and it is so frustrating because I think we all know that Amazon is going to ruin Lord of the Rings this year. But I would sit down and watch a second season of Reacher right now. And probably next week I'll rewatch the first season. And I hope they stick with it with the same actors. When you take a book, you don't, and you don't just make a movie so that you have two hours to, and 400 pages to fill that two hours, that's unrealistic, which is why they get changed. But when you do a TV show, eight episodes to cover one book, that's great. You have plenty of time to tell the story. So there you go. If you haven't, if you're not a fan of Reacher, Jack Reacher, then you should watch it. I will warn you: there's language and nudity, all the smut that comes with Hollywood. Yes, but it is the closest you'll come to watching the book. So, way to go, Amazon! You succeeded. In this show, as a Reacher fan, um, it's brilliant. You did a good job. <sighs> Side note, today, in the icy mail, I got a bag of Invader coffee. <laughs> it's an Irish cream. Getting ready for St. Patrick's Day limited release. Small batch. Lucky Bastard Blend. <laughs> That's right. Sorry, Mom. So I'm excited to try this tomorrow. Top of the morning to you, right? Yes. So excited. Oh, crap. My apologies. <laughs> so anyway. A day late. Not a dollar short. I hope you'll check out Reacher if that's your thing. If not, uh, it, it, all I can say is I was pretty happy with it. As a fan of the books. As a fan of the original source material. Uh, most of it was filmed really well. There were some really dark scenes that were a little frustrating in a couple of episodes. It was hard to see what was going on. Uh, not much you can say about that it happens a lot but there you go I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend Michael the microphone squeaky chair and this fat nerd will see you Monday <laughs>